Spring came in like a line yesterday. We had some tornado damage in Westminster. I hope everybody's okay and uh, that cleanup happens quickly. Today the sun's out. It's a good day to go outside and enjoy the weather. But before that, I was reminded how Peter McKinnon used to always start his videos with some coffee. I think that's exactly what I need. But uh, my version's going to be a little different. So it's been a week since I started my channel. Things have been pretty busy. I haven't had a chance to do too much. So I just decided I wanted to continue doing this. I didn't want to fall behind. Just like whenever you guys start something new, I hope that you uh, put all your effort into it and commit to it. Got to make a commitment and uh, put things together. I decided me and Bronco should get outside and enjoy the weather. Uh, so we had a little fun. I spoke a little last week about getting encouragement from my friend Eric. Um, whenever you start something new, it's, it's good to, to have people behind you. It's good to have somebody in your corner. Don't try to do it alone. I shared during that show just how it was that uh, other people in my life had influenced me and how, how they helped me to get started. So I wanted to share that little snippet with you here, here today. And I was sitting in my dormitory. I had a, a, a guy who was a Grateful Dead uh, aficionado for my roommate. And he was driving me bananas and I was sitting there saying, what am I going to do on a Thursday night? This random gentleman just walked, he wasn't a gentleman, he was a student, he walked in and he said, what are you doing? He didn't know me, I didn't know him even, I hadn't even met him yet. And he said, um, what are you doing? I said, ah, I'm just, I'm doing nothing today and it's Thursday night and my roommate's driving me crazy. He says, why don't you come down to Baltimore with me? Uh, I, I play a little solo music for a while and then, and then I play with this cover band down there. And I said, okay. Uh, I'm not 21. And he said, I don't care. <laughs> so <laughs> I went down there with him and, and I became good friends with him. And his name is Jason Narducci. Uh He's played with uh, bands like, uh, he has his own band, Split Single, right now. It's more of an independent label, so it's not going to be on popular radio. He's played with uh, a band, uh, Bob Mole Band, with Husker Du. And he got, he got me into the situation where I started going down to him every third. I go down to Baltimore with him every Thursday night, and he'd play this set. And he said, "Well, what do you what do you think you want to do next year?" And I said, "Well, I'm going to come back." He goes, "Good, I'll see you." So he called me up that summer, and and I just got this inspiration. I went down to the local music store. It was down by Sarah Charles, if you remember Sarah Charles. And I, I just picked out a guitar. I knew nothing about them. I bought one. I went home. And I started like making sounds. Right. He called me up and said, when are you moving back to Towson, Maryland? And uh, I said, uh, in a little bit, but hey man, I bought a guitar. He goes, oh cool. He goes, well then you can open up for me in Baltimore. And I said, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't even written a song yet. So I started making uh, you know, shapes and I started uh, writing down words and I was terrible. But he let me open up for him like around the seven o'clock to eight o'clock time period before like most people were there and he gave me all this confidence. He was the one that inspired me to do music. So through him, I I just got to meet a lot of people on that Darius Rucker from Booty and the Blowfish. I've met um, guys from the band Live in North Pennsylvania. Um, and I've met uh, people associated with music that have made accomplishments. And I've never really done this big of a stage myself. I've, I've played for maybe like 600 people, but it wasn't 
it wasn't like people paying to come and see me, right? So, so this is a great opportunity. This is my story. And, uh, and my son, I wanted to involve him because he's a year older than Eric and I were when we met. So Makai is now playing bass. And uh, this, is, this is our opportunity to entertain you. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. So as I was making shapes and, and chords, I started uh, thinking about the people I was meeting. And, and then uh, I said, there's got to be some easy songs I could learn. So of course, I met Darius Rocker from Hootie and the Blowfish. And he's got like these two chord songs. And so, so, uh, so I started to learn some of Darius Rucker and Hootie and the Blowfish songs. So I'm going to play a couple of those for you. So maybe you're not looking to step out on a stage anytime soon, but at least get started. It's time to do that thing that you've always been wanting to do. Let's do it. We'll elevate each other together. Get out there and participate, educate, create, and escape. See you soon. Hey, thank you for making it this long. I hope that you'll uh, subscribe to the channel and like the content that uh, continues to inspire you. See you soon.